and we're gonna start cooking this dog tooth tuna in a coconut frothing. Woo! All right, this one's not too high, so I'm gonna climb up that one. Got my knife. I'm gonna get a coconut. I'll put you down here. All right, we got a coconut. It's actually pretty hard to climb the tree. It's harder than it looks. But yeah, this is gonna be good enough to cook the fish in this coconut. So let's do it. Yo. I think we're gonna build a fire right here. Perfect. Oh, I'm sweating like a pig on this island. It's so hot, especially standing next to a fire. But we're gonna go fillet the fish and carve up this coconut, and then we'll cook the fish in the coconut. I right, first gonna drink just a little bit of this. So it's probably like half full and then we can cook the tuna in the rest, yeah? Yeah. Alright, so that's a big enough hole to put the fish in and there's plenty of juice in there to cook the fish. Alright, let's fill it the doggy. All right, so the rest of this I'm gonna use for bait um, and we can try and catch more fish. <laughs> Maybe catch a shark. I'm just gonna give these fillets a quick wash in the water and I'm gonna chop them up in bits and put them in the coconut. You froth them for this, mate. All right, so here we have the coconut. Let's get the fish in. Oh, this is going to be good. So all the fish has made the liquid go to the top, so it's super full. All right, let's go boil this uh, coconut on the fire, eh? Woohoo! All right, the coals are red hot. We're gonna try and get this coconut on the fire without getting burnt. Oh, here we go. Ah! Oh! Woo! There we go, it's on the fire. This is going to be good. Oh, we're going to try and get this to a boil. And then the fish will be good enough to eat. You can eat dog tooth tuna sashimi like raw. 
so it doesn't have to be too cooked but i'd like to see this coconut water get to a boil that'd be really cool i might even just like every now and then build the fire up a tiny bit just to keep the heat there but it's actually if you can feel this heat man it's burning hot i was trying to find something to put on top of the coconut might keep the heat in All right, so I've made like a little coconut oven thing going on here to keep the heat inside. And it's super, super hot down in there. So yeah, we'll just wait a few minutes and it should start boiling. Then we can eat it. Sunset time, dog tooth tuna, coconut, yum yums. Frothing. <laughs> Look how sweaty I am. <laughs> it's crazy. Oh, dripping wet. Oh, I think it's time to check. Let's see. Probably don't want it to boil actually because it's been a long time. So if it's if it's hot enough, then it's good enough to eat. Don't want to overcook the fresh tuna. Ooh, hoo, hoo. So yeah, that's definitely hot enough. That worked. So stoked. All right, let's get on the beach. Have a sunset dinner, eh? Woo. All right, I just worked out how I can carry a hot coconut. Get my knife into it. Ready? <laughs> Woo! Oh! <laughs> okay, that's not really working. I'm just gonna bear the heat with my hand. Oh, it's not too bad actually. Pretty chilled. Getting hotter. All right, we made it to the tree. Oh, it's looking good. There we go, standing now. I'm so excited for this. Dog tooth tuna cooked in coconut. Nothing better. Well, I mean, I've never had it. It's probably, probably good. <laughs> I'm hoping it's really good. Looks white. That is a new special. Coconut. <laughs> I can't help from laughing because it's just like really, really good. I'm just so happy I haven't. <laughs> oh, I'm having a breakdown. I'm going island crazy. But this is amazing. <laughs> wow. You really have to try cooking fish in a coconut. But that is so good. Woo! I'm gonna try and drink it. This could be really psycho. It's actually not that bad. It's like a fish soup. Well, I'm gonna chill here, eat my doggy tuna in the coconut, and watch the sunset. I forgot to mention. Thanks for watching another episode of Survival Beast. Catch us next time. Woo!